It's that time again here in Berlin, IFA 2015, the world's best consumer electronics get showcased here over seven days. And we're here early to see what's going to be the most interesting, the most exciting products coming out of the show. Let's go and take a look. So this is Samsung's 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray player. So this is one of the first devices that's going to be able to be in homes playing the next generation of Blu-rays, i.e. the ones that are going to take the 1080p, make it look like garbage, essentially, because Ultra HD has much higher resolution. 4K Ultra HD has been around in televisions now for quite some time, so I'm a little bit bored of it. Sony, however, has brought 4K to a five and a half inch smartphone. So this is taking the same clarity and, and density of pixels on a screen that you would get in an 80 inch or 60 inch television and compressed it down into something this size. And although I was skeptical at first whether this actually does make a difference, if you get close enough, you can tell a difference. We're all fairly used to 3D printing in the manufacturing world now, but this device from XYZ Printing in China 3D prints food. And we've been standing here watching cookies being 3D printed and then being put into an oven. And the proof is always in the pudding, or in this case, in the 3D printed biscuit. And uh, just to make absolutely sure for journalistic integrity that this is as good as it says it is. Hmm, delicious. It takes a lot to differentiate yourself in the smartphone world these days, but what Acer is trying to do this year at IFA is launching a phone that is very squarely aimed at the high-end gaming market. The company has launched what is a 10-core gaming phone. What does that mean? Well, most of the high-end smartphones on the market right now have four cores on the inside that process data. This one has 10 and is marketed as part of the company's predator range of gaming systems, which is well known for being very, very high-end. So this is a company now that's trying to take high-end gaming and phones and shove them together in a way that people haven't really done before. We've managed to get our hands on the new Moto 360. Now, this is Motorola's latest, greatest smartwatch, running Android Wear, but it is compatible now with iOS. That means iPhone users are able to use these Android smartwatches. And what's particularly interesting about the Moto 360 is its customizability. You can change the finish, we can have gold, you can have black, different straps, all sorts of customizable finishes that you can order online, which is something the company did with its Motorola smartphones, now being done in smartwatch range which does kind of point towards a more fashion-oriented direction for these smartwatches. Well, it's the end of our two-day preview time here at IFA 2015. What have we learned? Well, firstly, 4K isn't going anywhere, it seems, except into smartphones. 3D printing is turning its attention to food in an interesting next step for the technology. And, of course, smartwatches continue to be the trend everybody wants to be a part of. What I want to be a part of, though, is finding some more 3D printed biscuits.